Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? I know it's early. I know it may not be anybody actually watching live because I am here an hour earlier than normal. Normal, right? Normally I'm here at 6:45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today it is 5:45 because I have a flight to catch this morning, right? So I had to kind of adapt, I had to kind of be flexible and kind of change my schedule a little bit. So um, I appreciate you guys catching the replay. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that because I'm sure it's not gonna be too many people jumping on right now. But my name is Panik Singleton from connectwithpanik.com. Welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning, right? Happy Friday, y'all made it to the end of the week. Congratulations, I know y'all love Fridays. Hope y'all have some good things going on for the weekend. So anyway, guys, what's going on? I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm, um, I never wait for people to join, but I definitely wouldn't be this morning, right? Because it's a little bit earlier than usual. So let's go ahead and talk about this message. And, and I appreciate your flexibility. I appreciate you guys, you know, still jumping on and watching the replay, even though I was on an hour earlier. And, and that's also what I want to talk about this morning. I want to talk about flexibility, right? Like, are you the type of person that is able to be flexible and that's able to adapt to certain situations or if something doesn't go exactly how you plan do you let it throw off your whole day your whole week your whole month your whole year right and so that's what i want to talk about because see being flexible it is the ability to be easily modified or changed you know the willingness to change or compromise so that means i know you wanted you know people to jump on your facebook live because you did it an hour earlier but you got to understand everybody's not up yet right and it's okay I know, you know, you wanted that customer to just say, yes, they were going to go to the meeting and, and that you wanted them to come, that new business partner, and they didn't make it. So now you only want to deal with them, right? They told you they was coming. They didn't come. So you mad, right? You, you're not being flexible. You're not willing to adapt. I mean, I know they wanted to come to the meeting, but why don't you just give them a, a call to listen to because something came up, right? So are you one of those people that is something, excuse that y'all, I'm at the airport, sorry about that airline announcement. Okay, y'all can still hear me, right? Okay, I'm going to keep talking. So anyway, are you flexible? See, like I said, that just happened. I could have been like, oh man, that messed up my video, right? I'm out of here. But no, I just paused and now we're back to the video, right? So, so that's what I'm saying. If something don't go the way you want it to go, are you somebody who can think of a new plan? You know, can you come up with something else or are you just like, it's done? You know, last year I um, I had a flight. I was going to go to Atlanta for this conference in the current company that I'm in, TLC. And, and I had a flight. And I'm excited. I'm going to the airport. I got an hour and a half of sleep, y'all, because I thought I was going to be on the plane. Get halfway to the airport, I get a text message from Southwest saying my flight was canceled. So if that happened to you, would you just, would you be upset? Would you be mad? Would you go back home? What would you do? I decided to drive. You know, I had to think quick. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take an NRG, you know, the energy pill. I'm gonna, I had already taken some Nutriverse, which gives you energy. I said, I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to drive. So, yes, I wanted to fly. But, you know, due to circumstances under my control, I couldn't fly. So I drove, right? And it actually ended up being a good thing because I ended up getting my money back from that flight, of course. But they also gave me $200 credit for my inconvenience. And I was able to use that on another flight, right? So... My thing is, guys, sometimes when things happen that you weren't expecting, you got to be able to think quick and come up with another plan. But also, sometimes it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes things happen that turns out to be good. I mean, who doesn't want a free $200, right? But if my flight wouldn't have got canceled, I wouldn't have got that. And, and so a lot of times, so what I challenge you to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is something happens that you're not expecting. If you end up being rerouted, if you end up having to do something else, try to look at it positively, right? Maybe you were going the wrong way, right? And this had to happen to get you back on track. So the thing sometimes that you think got you off track is really getting you back on track because you was going the wrong way in the first place, right? So so today I just want to challenge you in how you look at things, you know, when they when they go wrong in your eyes, right? Are you flexible? Are you willing to change? Or do you just let it ruin everything, right? And the reason I'm talking about this, too, because I used to be like this, right? I, if I call somebody and they react a certain type of way that I wasn't expecting, I'm like, oh, I'm not calling them no more. Forget it. I'm not following up with that customer. I'm not going to ask that person about this business anymore. I'm done. But that's not the way to go because, for one, things that you make a priority, it's not always a priority to other people. And you, so you have to adapt, you know, maybe to their schedule or you have to maybe – find a different way to present the information, you know, figure out what's a priority to them, what's important to them and present it that way. So sometimes you got to switch up your approach. But if you're one of those people that have one thing in your mind, it's got to be this way or no way, then 
you're not going to be very successful. So you have to be willing to adapt. You have to be willing to change. You have to have patience, you know, when something goes wrong, right? I didn't write down a lot of notes today because I figured I was pretty focused. But my thing is, are you always ready? You know, are you always ready for something that may happen, right? I'm the type of person, I'm always ready for anything, right? If it starts raining, I got my umbrella in the car, right? Or either like a hoodie with a with a um, a hood on it. And, and I know that sounds like a jacket with a hood on it. Uh, I, that sounded weird. But anyway, you know, I was just in a situation a couple weeks ago. I was with a friend and it started raining. And she's like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And I'm like, I'm just going to put my windbreaker on. I don't, I don't know. And, and just because it was raining, guys, she didn't even go. We were supposed to be walking somewhere. She just sat there because she didn't want to get her hair wet. So are you one of those people you're just going to sit there and maybe miss out on something because something unexpected happened? Or are you always ready? Do you always have a plan B? You know, I saw this quote on Instagram the other day, and it said if plan A doesn't work out, don't worry. There's 25 more letters in the alphabet. So what does that mean? That means you always have options. You got to be quick on your toes. You got to be thinking of another plan, and you have to be receptive to it. Everything's not going to go right in life. I can tell y'all that right now. Some of you guys had a setback this week. Some of you guys had something get canceled this week. Some of you guys had the time change on something this week. And you let it ruin your entire day, right? And there's this other quote I saw a while back. Somebody posted and it said, did you really have a bad day? Or did you have a bad five minutes that you milked all day, right? Because sometimes it's not as bad as we make it seem, but we will ride that thing out for the rest of the day. Somebody asks you how you doing, you're like, man, let me tell you what happened. And it really wasn't even that serious, guys. So, so that's all I have for you guys today. I just want you to think about it. Are you flexible? Are you willing to change? If something happens, do you let it ruin your day or do you look at it in a positive way? Right? Like maybe this was the best thing that happened. It, it sounded bad at first, but maybe I needed to be turned around. Maybe I needed to be rerouted. Maybe I needed to do something differently. That, and if this thing wouldn't have happened, maybe you wouldn't have done what you really needed to do, right? So that's what all I want to talk to you guys about. You know, like I said, I just thought about that conversation I was having with somebody the other day. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if that helped you. Maybe it'll help somebody you know. Please like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the video. And shout out to somebody who jumped on here early this morning, Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm going to get out of here and let you get ready for whatever it is you're going to do today. Anybody watching the replay, thank you all. If you enjoyed the message, please like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys Monday morning, 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right? Y'all have an awesome and amazing weekend. And get off of Facebook and get out there and be great on purpose today. All right? Because I believe in you. I know you can do it, right? So all you have to do is believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. All right? My name is Panique Singleton. Y'all have a happy Friday. I'll see y'all soon.